In the annals of World War II history, there was one group that sent shivers down the spines of the German army. A group feared for their unparalleled tenacity and skill in fighting and were especially tough adversaries in combat. Today, we delve deep into the forgotten pages of history to uncover the remarkable story of the Mongolian fighters of the Soviet Union. These warriors from the East would become the stuff of nightmares for the German soldiers. In the year 1943, German soldiers found themselves in a perplexing situation as they unexpectedly encountered a distinct and unusual force on the battlefield, the Mongols. As the Soviet Union faced the stark reality of heavy casualties among its own troops on the battlefield, it resorted to a significant influx of personnel from the distant regions in the east of the country. In our extensive collection of books here at History at War, we've delved into countless accounts from German sources that vividly depict these particular fighters. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to History at War, your go-to channel for in-depth historical insights and more. To gain a deeper understanding of the Mongolian people, let's delve into the legacy of Genghis Khan, an iconic figure in history who stands as one of the greatest warriors of all time. Beyond his individual prowess, Genghis Khan's influence shaped the Mongolian culture and the martial tradition that endured even into the era of World War II. Intriguingly, the Mongolian soldiers of this era were deeply entrenched in a martial ethos that prioritized combat proficiency, equestrian expertise, and physical resilience, honed from a young age. From their earliest years, boys embarked on a rigorous journey of training, mastering essential skills such as archery and horsemanship, all in preparation for a life that revolved around the rigors of warfare. The Mongolian cavalry units were not only adept in hit-and-run tactics, but their mastery of these maneuvers reached a level of finesse that set them apart. Their combat prowess lay in their ability to execute lightning-fast assaults on their adversaries, evading retaliation before the opposition could muster an effective counterattack. This stratagem enabled them to consistently harass and chip away at enemy forces, progressively sapping their strength and resolve, all while avoiding protracted engagements that might compromise their formidable mobility and adaptability on the battlefield. These swift and surgical strikes, often orchestrated with impeccable precision, exemplified the Mongolian military's artistry in asymmetrical warfare. By employing hit-and-run tactics, the Mongolian cavalry units not only disrupted their foes, but also maintained a formidable aura of unpredictability, leaving their adversaries on the edge and vulnerable to relentless, calculated assaults. On January 16, 1942, the leaders of the Mongolian People's Republic embarked on a mission to raise funds for the creation of a tank column to contribute to the Red Army's efforts. A year later, a Mongolian delegation, led by the nation's esteemed leader, Marshal Korlugin Choibalsan, made a historic gesture by presenting the Soviet 112th Tank Brigade with a generous gift, 32 formidable T-34 tanks and 21 nimble T-70 light tanks, all crafted through the collective contributions. During this period, Mongolian leaders extended their support to the Soviet Union by providing additional infantry reinforcements. The Mongolian forces began to make a notable appearance on the Eastern Front, deploying in formation from late 1942 through 1943. During the Battle of Kursk, one division stood out. The 112th Brigade, this division was made by Marshal Korlugin Choibalsan. This man was known as the Stalin of the Steppe. This division was also known by its evocative moniker, Revolutionary Mongolia, etched its name into history. Kursk would prove to be one of the most significant confrontations of World War II, this particular grinding clash between the 112th Brigade and the formidable Großdeutschland, Great Germany Division, a unit renowned for its tenacity and combat prowess within the Wehrmacht. Amidst the smoke and thunder of battle, the Mongolian soldiers of the 112th Brigade demonstrated exceptional courage. They found themselves locked in a fierce struggle against the Großdeutschland Division an adversary known for its unyielding determination and battle-hardened reputation. One remarkable combat account from this period illustrates the mettle of the Mongolian fighters. As the battle raged on, the Mongolian soldiers of the 112th Brigade advanced resolutely, their hearts aflame with the spirit of their ancestral warriors. Amidst the chaos of the battlefield, they launched a daring assault against entrenched German positions, 
the deafening roar of artillery shells and machine gun fire providing the relentless soundtrack to their charge. In the midst of the maelstrom, Mongolian soldiers advanced, and a fierce melee ensued. Despite being outnumbered and facing a relentless foe, their training and their heritage of nomadic warfare equipped them with a unique combat prowess. Blades flashed, submachine guns barked, and the clash of steel against steel echoed across the battlefield. This one Mongol division managed to cripple the German counterpart. For their courage and heroism, the brigade's servicemen were awarded both Soviet and Mongolian medals. After the fall of Kursk, during the German retreat to the west, following the pivotal Battle of Kursk in the scorching summer, the landscape of the Eastern Front witnessed a remarkable transformation. Among the Soviet divisions that pressed relentlessly against the retreating German forces, an unexpected presence emerged, full Mongol soldiers and Mongol units, who were no strangers to the brutal realities of the Eastern Front. One German soldier, a veteran of the Eastern Front since 1941, marveled at the tenacity and spirit of the Mongol fighters. To him, they appeared as an unstoppable force, an embodiment of determination. In western Ukraine, amidst the unforgiving terrain and the ravages of war, he found himself positioned with 19 fellow soldiers, only to be suddenly confronted by a Mongol unit that encircled their defensive positions. The ensuing battle unfolded as a living nightmare, as these Mongol warriors fought with an unparalleled ferocity that left an indelible mark on the German soldiers' memory. Remarkably, the Mongol units typically wielded light weaponry, often armed with submachine guns and a dagger, occasionally supplemented with a sidearm and an additional blade. What struck the German soldiers most was the Mongols' readiness to embrace the deadliest of assignments, seemingly unflinching in the face of impending death. Though perilous, proved remarkably effective in disrupting and dismantling the German defenses. The Mongol soldiers, seemingly forged in the crucible of conflict, embodied a relentless determination that left an enduring legacy on the Eastern Front. Their unconventional tactics and fearless commitment to the fight added a formidable dimension to the Soviet war effort, further emphasizing the extraordinary character of those who bore the legacy of Genghis Khan into the heart of the 20th century battlefield. While the German forces faced an arduous and daunting journey as they embarked on their mass retreat to the west, the Mongolian soldiers exhibited a remarkable advantage born from their homeland, the unforgiving expanse of the Mongolian steppe. This formidable environment cultivated a unique brand of physical toughness and resilience among the Mongols, traits that became invaluable assets during the trials of war. The Mongols' profound resilience, honed amidst the harsh conditions of their native steppe, proved instrumental in their capacity to endure the relentless demands of combat. They demonstrated an exceptional ability to maintain their effectiveness, even when confronted with the most challenging and adverse circumstances on the battlefield. This adaptability and resilience set them apart, making them formidable adversaries and a testament to the enduring spirit of their ancestral heritage of Genghis Khan. Nonetheless, it's important to acknowledge that the Mongols also revealed facets of their brutal tribal heritage, steeped in the tradition of tribal warfare. What struck fear into the hearts of Axis soldiers, perhaps more than anything else, was the Mongols' unwavering commitment to a no-prisoners policy. This meant that once captured, there was little hope for survival, as the Mongols were notorious for administering swift and lethal justice on the spot. One harrowing account from a German soldier recounted a chilling incident involving a division of Mongol soldiers. In a grim twist of fate, when his unit fell into the hands of these Mongols, their captors wasted no time in executing them, leaving no room for negotiation or mercy. Fortunately, the soldier who recounted this terrifying ordeal managed to escape the clutches of this brutal fate, providing a first-hand glimpse into the stark and unforgiving realities of war in the East. In the waning days of the European theater in World War II, the Battle of Berlin bore witness to a significant presence of Mongolian soldiers integrated within various Soviet units. Amid the intense combat in Berlin's government sector, these Mongol troops emerged as a vital and formidable fighting force, playing pivotal roles in capturing crucial city landmarks. Notably, it was the Soviet 150th Rifle Division, led by General Yevgeny Petrovich Zhuravlev, that achieved the historic capture of the Reichstag, emblematic of the city's fall. Similarly, 
The first Belarusian front, led by Marshal Georgi Zhukov, also benefited from the formidable contributions of Mongol soldiers as they pressed forward in the fierce urban battles of Berlin. This unique alliance between the Soviets and Mongols during the Battle of Berlin stands as a testament to the diversity and unity of the Allied forces in the final throes of the war, shedding light on a captivating but often overlooked chapter of World War II history. The Mongol soldiers, who left a lasting impression on the Germans and other combatants, stand as a testament to the diverse and multifaceted nature of this global conflict. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration into their unique role and contribution. Remember to check out our links below. Stay tuned for more riveting insights on history at war, where we uncover the lesser-known stories that have shaped our world. See you guys soon.